Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up multiple websites on a single open light speed web server. To do this, we use virtual hosts. I'll show you how to do everything. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get on into the tutorial here. Now, right off the bat, if you missed my other video about setting up your first open light speed uh, website, check that out. I'll have that linked for you guys. Um, and Specifically for me, I have that running under site1.xyz. So here it is, it's a WordPress website. Um, and I just wanna show you that, um, well, first of all, my everything's running at this IP address, 64.227.81.142. So IP address ending in 142. So that's where this is running. And I can show you that where I bought the domain name with Namecheap, so site1.xyz. We have the A records pointed to that IP address ending in .142. Now, if we go back to my domain list, you'll see that um, we're gonna be working with adding site2.xyz to open light speed. And I already went ahead before this video and pointed my A records for site2.xyz to that same IP address ending in 142. So that's all ready to go for us. The first thing we wanna do is to create our HTML, CSS, JavaScript files for this website. And we're just gonna do something very simple, um, just a simple one, page website and index.html file. So um, what we're gonna do is to open up a terminal window, log into that server via SSH, the one ending in 142, and go into the user local LSWS directory. In here, um, and this is all from the previous video, we have site one running out of the virtual host example. And if we wanna add another virtual host here at this level, we simply make another directory for that. So let's make a directory. I'm gonna call it Tony Teaches Tech. And in here, um, I'm gonna make another directory called HTML. You can use whatever directory structure you want. And then finally, I'm gonna make that index.html file. And we're just gonna do something simple here, like um, welcome, Welcome to my web site as a header one, and then we'll just do a paragraph. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so that's 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 our website, right? This is gonna be the content of site2.xyz. So as far as um, modifying stuff on the web server itself, you're done. You can actually do this through FTP if you don't have SSH access, but um, either way is fine. So let's go back to our web browser and this time let's open up, um, we'll go to the IP address colon 7080, which is the, uh, the open light speed console. And in here we can add a virtual host for site2.xyz. So let's go ahead and do that. We can click on virtual hosts. And in here, uh, we have our virtual host from last time, our example virtual host. Let's add another one and we can give it a name. So I'm gonna call it Tony Teaches Tech and the virtual host root is everything up into that path, the, the user uh, local LSWS um, and then Tony, the directory we created teaches tech. And I'll just throw a slash on there so you know it's a folder. Um, Let's see the config file. If you click on the help here, it gives you a tip. You can actually just copy this uh, for the default, the recommended location, I should say, for the config file. That is a required um, field because of that star here. And then for these two other required fields down here, we will say yes and yes for those. Um, everything else is optional, so we'll go ahead and save that and uh, does not exist, right? So I did expect that to happen. Um, we can simply click to create that configuration file and it says it has been created. So now we can try to save again and this time it'll work. So we have our, <laughs> we have our second virtual host. Um, that's perfect. So the next thing we wanna do is to go to uh, our virtual host list and uh, well, we already there and click on um, view. And then under the general tab, we can set the document root for this. So um, this is where we can use some of those variables. Okay, so um, if you're not familiar, the dollar sign VH underscore root variable um, corresponds to user local um, LSVS or LSWS slash Tony teaches tech. And then 
we remember we created those directories. So Tony uses text slash HTML. That's where our index file lives. Uh, we'll give it the domain name site1.xyz and the alias www. Oh, I'm sorry, this is site2. www.site2.xyz. And, um, you know, you can ex enable compression, do whatever you want here. Um, but that looks good. So we'll save that. And the other thing we want to change in here is the index file. So we want to specifically be explicit about the index file. This one is an index.html file, the file that we created. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now, the last thing we want to do is to associate that virtual host with a listener. So let's go ahead and look at our listeners here. We have one listener, the default listener. That's okay. We can view it and we can see the virtual host mapping. So right now we have our example virtual host map to this domain name. Let's go ahead and do that for site two. So let's um, take the virtual host for Tony Teaches Tech and associate it with site2.xyz. We will go ahead and save that. And I believe that's all we have to do in the uh, console here for open light speed. The last thing would be just to, as you can see by this error, or not error message, just message up here. Um, changes have been made, so let's refresh the server, restart the server so we can do that and go. And there we go. So now let's go ahead and test it out. So we have site one, let's refresh it. That still works. Let's go to site two, two.xyz. And there we go. We see our content that we created earlier. Welcome to my website. Thanks for stopping by. Guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn how to install an SSL certificate on your Open Lightspeed server using Let's Encrypt CertBot, all that stuff for free, check out this video here. And let me know if you have any questions, comments, all that stuff. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.